Hello everyone, my name is Lord Stencil, here playing Silence of the Sleep. Sorry I forgot about it, I've actually, <laughs> I went and talked to this dude, the guitar pianist player, and figured out that um, he needed to fix his guitar. Anyway, it allowed me to move on in the day, and hopefully that will be something good for me. So let's go on. Evening, Jacob. How are you feeling? Like? Evening, Doc. I'm okay, I guess. I talked to other PhD patients and had a look around. I'm still quite puzzled, though. I don't even know how I got in here. You came here yesterday, don't you remember, Jacob? I hope you don't mind me saying, but you look absolutely terrible. But that's alright. You're here, so we can help you. But I... I was in this house and I wasn't alone. There was something besides me. I... Calm down, Jacob. It's okay. Did you tell me about this house? It was covered with ashes. I'm going to tell him about what I'm seeing, because I need to tell people. There's something about that house. Can you remember how the first felt when you walked in that house? It's hard to describe. I felt relief, but at the same time, something was pulling me down. But for a brief moment, I actually felt something. This is interesting, Jacob. I take it you feel numb inside. Something in the house has awakened something in you. Was it a hope you feel felt, Jacob? I said that really weird. I guess. This is a good thing, Jacob. Okay, let's leave it at that at this now. Earlier you said you knew me from, was it a motel? Yes, you were playing a guitar in this motel. I walked by and we talked. And what did we talk about, Jacob? At first you asked me if I did not remember you. You obviously knew who I was. You told me you were there to help me, and you did. Jacob, are you 100% sure it was me? Yes, there's no doubt about it. Hmm, this is something I would like to take a closer look at. I suggest we start a hypnother hypnotherapy, Jacob. Would you like to focus on that, day, on that day and very moment we first met? Close your eyes and relax. Oh, we're going to be doing some... Sleepy therapy. I know that really weird. I messed up my hair. Oh well. So my eyes are somehow across the room and I'm blinking them. music you think I was asleep oh Jesus I, oh he's still blinking Gosh, how long does it take for this guy to blink? This is creepy. What the hell is this? Good evening, Jacob. Am I really here? Focus, Jacob. You are safe and sound. Is this the place you first talked to me, Jacob? Yes, no doubt about it. Alright, Jacob. I want you to take a closer look around. There must be the... more than meets the eye. I can have you my help, Jacob. Take this lens. That's some sort of weird lens. I will show you things that are buried in your mind. It's sort of a great importance to understand. Okay, thanks, Clifford. Balloon. Balloon, balloon, balloon. What is that? Red balloon! around a little. Oh, Jacob. Red. I 
I think let's just turn them all red. I'm not for sure yet. Uh, I think I got the hang of what I'm doing now. Their cold hand rocks the cradle of a child preparing a near journey to the coming road of the unknown. Anyone as confused as I am? Creepy areas now. I hate this place. It's the worst place to be. I really do not like it. She's blowing on my ear right now. I don't know about you guys, but she's blowing on my ear. anymore. I don't like this very much at all. Anticipated of what's going to happen right now. Relax. There's just a dead baby. It's a dead baby. It's nothing bad, right? Hello? You only go forward. Oh, I don't want to be in here anymore. <laughs> Wait. 
break. Is that what hypnothermia or hypno hypnotherapy's like? That's crazy. Jacob, are you all right? No, I'm far from being all right. It's so messed up. Focus, Jacob. What did you see? I don't know, Clifford. I try to calm down, Jacob. I understand it must be difficult, but you must try to focus. Try telling me exactly what you saw. I saw red balloons, blood, writing. What did the writing say? That is the scary part. Guilty. I thought it said wake. Guilty. That is an interesting. That is interesting, Jacob. Interesting and very important. It is the work of your subconscious mind, Jacob. Do you not you blame yourself for anything? I can't remember. It's getting obvious I've done something guilty indeed. You are blaming yourself. The mind is a fragile thing, Jacob. It goes to great lengths to protect itself. But we are making progress, Jacob. The answer lies within. I hope you're alright, Clifford. Though I'm not sure I want to learn the truth. I'm scared of it. I understand, Jacob. Okay, you said you also saw red balloons? Yes. What's that all about? Hard to say. It could sim symbolize joy or hope. Or maybe it's a concrete thing, a fragment of memory. Jacob, it was a rough trip to take. I think we should call it a day. Nothing works as well as the rest after all. I agree with you. I'm exhausted. Jacob, try to keep your head up and we truly made some progress today. Okay. Thanks, Clifford. It's my pleasure, Jacob. You should head to bed now. We can talk more tomorrow. Don't look at me. Wrong bottle. This bottle's going down here. Where am I? Good evening, sir. Good evening. Would you like to have something to drink? That's fine, sir. What am I doing here? I invited you, sir. Why? You are in grave danger, sir. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? The place is not what it seems. Not at all. I'm sorry, I'm not sure I follow. Yes, uh, that man is good. Really good at what he does. Huh? You mean Clifford? Yes, that's what he is called. But, uh, listen to me, sir. You cannot trust him. But he has been helping me. Why should I believe you? Yes, I understand. He appears as a friend, but think about it. Has he done nothing concrete to help you? It's all words, wordless words. You said this to me yourself. No, you're playing tricks on me again. Your words truly really hurt me, sir. Take a moment. Have I done anything but help you? I'm sure you're real only friend. I'm trying to look after you. But you keep rejecting me. I'm sorry. It's all so confusing. Yes, I understand that, sir. I understand how everything, including me, must appear to you. Tomorrow, try to leave that place. You'll find that there is always something stopping you from leaving. Yes, I believe my warning was a success. Be cautious, sir. It's the slowest, like, transition. It's so weird. Let's move on. Remember these? I don't. I don't remember if I told, but these are going to be now thirty-minute episodes, mainly because I want this to be over. Like, it's not that I don't like the game; it's that I have many other things to play. That dream. I'm not sure I believe him, but I should talk to Clifford right away. Oh, day two. Apprehension. Day two's and all the crazy gets out. <laughs> Sorry. This way! Clifford! You're in here already. Oh, 
Morning, Jacob. How did you sleep? Hi, Clifford. Not very well. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Jacob. I was wondering if... If I feel like I don't need treatment anymore, could I leave? Oh, Jacob, I can tell you it's still too early. I think we made some true progress yesterday. It should would be a shame for you if you decided to leave. Sorry, I did not mean it like that. I really appreciate this. No worries, Jacob. I understand. Besides, leaving now would partic par practically be impossible with all the mist around. I think we just need to wait until the weather improves. Okay, I'll get some breakfast. Bye, Jacob. What is this? That little thingy down there. I'd like to check it out, but it's not letting me. Let's just head down to breakfast and see what they're shaking the bacon. So I know it's really crappy of a joke. Whew! Alright. Anyone up here at the moment? Will that one be a guy? Let's just head straight to the elevator. Wait! Hey! Saved! By the bell! I have no idea why I just did that. Ignore me, please. So slow when I walk. Is everyone already eating? Look at that. Even Mark, it looks like, is eating as well. I can't really talk to him. Oh well. Morning, guys. Hey, Jacob. Do you sleep well? Not really. Rest of streams. Ah! Well, give this place some time. It always does the trick. So you started the therapy yesterday. How did it go? If you don't mind me asking. Gonna say. It was so messed up, but Clifford thought we made great progress, but so I think it was good. If Clifford says so, you should be happy. Thanks for the encouragement. Sorry, may I ask how you guys ended up in here? I... he killed a man? Huh? May I ask why? God told me to. I have not told you anything! HA! Sorry, Jacob. Sorry I couldn't really resist. For jokes aside, I have a problem with gambling. I had everything in my life particularly well. But of course, a man can never be happy with the things he has. So I started playing and it made me feel better. I kept her again in secrecy and at some point I had lost so much of my wife so much my wife found out. We also had a baby and it was on its way, so I agreed to come here at last resort to save our marriage. Women. Are you married, Jacob? That's a good question. Let me check my hands. No ring. Nope, I'm single. That's a good way to look at things, man. Look at you. Well I'm sorry to hear your story, Gerald. Nah, I was stupid enough to dig my own grave. At least he has common sense. But I'll climb out of it, no matter what. Good encouragement to yourself. I'm sure you can do it, Gerald. How about you, Brad? Well, my story's really boring. To cut it short, I'm a workaholic. I didn't notice it at first. It was my friends who started seeing me changing. I ignored them. I told them I was fine. This really hurts. <laughs> so I got a drink. And then came to the breakdown. So I'll just change my batteries here and I'll be good to go. Thanks for telling me, Brad. Bills! <laughs> Bills! Bills! I want to play Leopard Dead too. I might do a, I don't. I probably won't do an LP. I might. I might. Good morning, Gerald. Morning, Brad. Good morning, Mr. L. We may have increased your dose today. Hello, Laura Zeno. Good morning, Mark. Is that it? That'd be all. See you, gentlemen, later. 
Everyone has like a suit and tie, why? Bye, Jenny! The tits, Anna! The tits! Tits. Me! <laughs> You guys, you take a little while to eat. Actually, all of you do. I'd be done by then. I'm kind of chubby, if you haven't noticed. I'm guessing that's all I have to do. Here. Bet I go get that bunny back today as well. Ooh, gotta pop my neck. Sorry. So let's go get that bunny back. The so moose head. Moose sitting. Moose. Oh, I wonder if I can talk to DeWitt today as well. Let's go check that out. It's locked. No talking to him. Room three. Don't you dare to wall paint. Never mind. Locked. Maybe we go talk to the one person. Dr. Clifford. It's just a theory. Hope you have a one in here. How are you, General? Gerald? It's getting worse. I don't know if I can bounce back. I feel desperate. So do I. Can you help me, please? Pretty sure that's all I get to hear. Everything else is probably going on. Alright. Anything in my room? Let's go see if that painter now is done painting. Nope. Alright, let's go check the entertainment room, because yeah, a lot of people that like to sit in here. Oh, there's the blue guy, do it! Hey, sorry about yesterday. Listen, how did you know about my family? It may sound crazy, but we talked in, in this old motel. Please, I'm listening. Well, I came to your room and you were puzzled. You had lost the combination for your safe. I helped you to open the safe so you could look at the pictures of your family. I believe you somehow. Don't ask me how. Glad to hear that. Say... We did not introduce ourselves. My name is Jacob. Hi, Jacob. My name is DeWitt. Listen, there's something I would like to talk to you about. I'm not here, but not here. Would you come to my room? Sure. It was the one on the right. Yes, I'll meet you there. Don't know why. Don't know why. I don't... No, I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Whoa. Woo! My camera follows. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I actually have a cake or something like right here. And it really hurts. Hi, Dewitt. You want to talk to me about something? Yes. It might sound a little crazy, so I must warn you. Don't worry, Dewitt. After the things I've seen, nothing seems crazy anymore. Alright. Well, I'll just come out and say it. Something isn't right about this place. The psychologic, whatever, psychologist, he isn't what it seems to be. I can't read. I can't read. Something is horribly wrong. But I can't put my finger on it. I have this familiar feeling. But I thought it was all in my head. That's exactly what I thought at first, too. But I've been thinking about it, though. 
It is more of a feeling and it's a crazy strong one. Huh. Sorry that I'm yawning. Yeah. Jacob, I've grown wary. It puzzles me all the time and it eats at me like a rat. I need to understand. Can I help you somehow? I was hoping you'd ask that. I think the best way to get at the bottom of things would be to access my patient's records. Thing is, they're off limits. Hmm, there must be a way. Yeah, I know that you can find the records in Clifford's office. I thought it was locked. Yeah, well I'll try to think of something to get the map as soon as possible. Thank you, Jacob. You don't know something, I don't know. I'm curious as well. I'll catch you up later. Can't read, and I'm yawning for no apparent reason. I'm not tired. I just feel like the urge. There's another one. Don't judge it. I'm not tired. No, I, I think it's just because I'm relaxed playing a game. And it's kind of story driven, so I'm not scared. I'm not. I'm just kind of reading. And it's not bad. It just means, since of how late at night it is for me, I'm just getting a little tired. How are you, Brad? I'm great, Doc. Thanks. I like his voice. You can see it now. I'm gonna read normal for this. I feel stupid. It took me this long. I'd say I'm good to go, Doc. Why am I tired? I don't like it. And I don't, like, I really wish this game had more to it than just this. You know, than just sitting around and reading. I liked it when it was scaring me. This is a very so dumb. Don't you dare enter while I paint. Okay. You're here again. Can I talk to you? Hi, Dewey. How's it going? Jacob, a man. I managed to fix my guitar. The nut on the little place off the place. So it should stay in tune now. I haven't tuned it yet, though. I was just planning to do so, but then you entered. How about... How about you do it? Me? I'm not sure I know how. Nah, it's not hard. Don't worry, I'll have a simple tuner with me. Just turn the knob when you hit the green light. It indicates that the string is in tune. Well, I suppose I'll give it a shot. Yeah. Alright. Sound good job, Jacob. You handle like a pro. Thanks, Dewey. It's actually more fun than I ever have thought. That's why I let you do it. Okay. Do you mind if I ask you something? No, ahead. Go ahead, mate. There's something a promote premon premonitation, something like that. I don't know. I'm sorry. Not sure how to put it into words, but it feels as if something isn't right with this place, huh? So you feel it too. Damn. I don't know why I really like this place, but still. Yeah, well, I think it's better we don't dwell on it. It's probably nothing. Indeed. Okay, I'll get going now. Thanks, Dewey. My pleasure, Jacob. Alright. We're making some progress now. It's an awkward thing. Maybe real quick. The doctor, or the dude is done painting. He's done painting. I can get the rabbit. Welcome, welcome. Hello. I'm so excited. I can feel it. Mmm, sure. The air is filled with energy. My newest masterpiece will be soon revealed. Yow! As for my promise, you will be the honor of being the first to see it. I'm flattered. So, are you ready? Ta da! Oh, that smell! Wait, where is Mr. Chainail? It is irrelevant. You love it, don't you? Oh, of course you do. What a stupid thing to ask. Wait, is that Mr. Chainail on the canvas? Oh, what's left of her anyways? You sick son of a bitch. Hmm? You're changing the subject. Do you like my painting? Painting? That's more sculpture than a painting. 
Oh, shit, how could you have done something like that? Ha! You are a fool and you have no taste. No understanding for the real art. Now I know why you are here. I'd better inform Clifford of what you've done. No, you must not. Farewell. Oh, God. I have a feeling he's going to chase after me. Real quick, go tell Clifford. Things are going to go to hell. Uh-oh. Hey, Clifford. Jacob, are you alright? You look worried. I'm fine, but our artist might not be. What do you mean, Jacob? Well, you know Lorenzo was bunny? Sure. Lorenzo really loves her. Yeah. Not anymore, I'm afraid. Artist painted with painted Miss Chanel. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. On the contrary, that sounds like a great therapy. Except that he painted with Miss Chanel. What I mean is, Miss Chanel is now literally on the canvas. He killed her as a nose bunny? Yes, in the name of his art. Oh god, I need to talk to the artist. That would be best. Listen, I can talk to Lord Zeno. I don't think he should know what really happened. I do not support deception, but I think it would be the best thing to do at the time. Thank you, Jacob. I'll talk to the artist and you talk to Lord Zeno. Sure thing. Can't talk to him yet. That's all I have time for. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, favorite, subscribe. <laughs> Sorry, my camera's fun to mess up. I'll see you in another episode. Goodbye, everybody! So, why don't we just sit here and wait for help? Yeah, we got a fire. Wait, 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 look, 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 look at the clock. Time is fast forwarding. That's my bedtime.